Hey, good morning, guys. How are we doing? Today is day three uh, of our distance learning initiative here at North Hunterdon High School. Uh, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you can expect uh, for class today and what you can expect tomorrow in tomorrow's live stream class. First off, as you can see, I've kind of changed locations. This is where I plan on trying to stream from. I'm in my kitchen, so the lighting is not too great, but I really don't have any other options. So we're going to have to deal with it and we'll kind of figure it out as we go. All right. So what can you expect in class today? First off, uh, we're going to be talking about the Phillips curve. Okay. The Phillips curve notes have already been sent to you guys. It's PowerPoint 3.5. And uh, that is what the plan for you guys today is. So I'm going to ask that you go through the PowerPoint, you read through the PowerPoint. I'm going to give you some kind of practice problems and things like that for you to work on uh, and actually practice graphing the curve. Uh, and then on Friday's uh, live stream class, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the Phillips curve. We'll talk about how to draw the graphs, what the graphs mean, things like that. And then we're also going to do some practice cumulative FRQs. Now, in a cumulative practice FRQ, how it would look is like this. We're going to start with a gap. So whether we have a recessionary gap or an inflationary gap, uh, and then we're going to use some type of fiscal policy to fix the gap. What they're going to ask is, they're going to ask is, well, what happens to inflation? What happens to unemployment? And what does that look like in the curve? And can you graphically draw that? So that's what we're going to be working on in terms of practice problems. In addition, this is the end of the unit, guys. Uh, this is everything that we need to go over. So I'm going to be sending out the unit assessment at uh, the beginning of next week. For the unit assessment, you can use each other. You can use your resources. Obviously, we're not going to be worried about test corrections uh, and things of that nature because I'm more concerned with you guys learning the content rather than um, trying to get to get a grade in or get a test in while we're at home. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, I'm going to post the Albert I.O. I would like you to do that to practice. Uh, do that without any studying so I can get an idea of what your raw score is going to look like. Obviously, you're going to use each other, ask questions, ask resources when you're answering the assessment questions. But I need to really get an idea of like how much you understand prior to the assessment. In addition to that, I'm also going to be sending out the uh, Mr. Clifford's ultimate review packet. This is going to be something that you guys can start working on on your own to help you get prepared for the AP exam. There's going to be one section for macro and one section for micro. Listen, the PDF I'm going to send you, it is massive. Okay. I also have an answer key for that. I can give that to you as well. My recommendation, fill out the ultimate review guide on your own. Uh, even if you don't end up using your own, but just do it just to get an idea of actually encoding the work, writing things down. And then if you want, go to the review guide answer sheet. Uh, this way you can kind of double check yourselves. All right. Uh, that's all I have for today. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in class. Hopefully we were able to have class uh, yesterday and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Be good to each other. Have a good day.